It is January in the olden times. All around the world, the young people are doing a lot to make the Earth a better habitat. And it is known that the sea and it is the ocean. And, and every minute that there are about 23 girls under 18 who were forced to get married in India, and it's just like this. However, the girl called the Paya Jankuri didn't want this sport for her. And she works to end such a children marriage and promote the education for all. For another instance, is that the boy that a Dutch boy which who is 16 years old, had devoted himself in the ocean cleanup project since the 2012. But now he staff for more than 70 plus scientists, researchers, engineers has launched a 2,000 feet long barrier in San Francisco and what this is the teenagers can do. If you walk along the sea coast for some time, for some time, then you will see the plastic between the coast. Though most of them are even too small for you to even notice them. But what you can't notice happen too. As I know that my quantities of the microscopics are released with ice cap smells and transported through the air. And they have been finding toxins and climbing up of the food chain. We are mismanaging our waste, but they are coming back to our food pay and drinking water. And the boy boys had first discovered this issue. And just as he, he once said that during his scuba diving in Greece, he noticed more plastic than fish. But what is more more is more painful to him is that no one is even to show solicitude for this issue. So, but he immediately realized that it is nearly impossible to clean up so much the plastic litters just by safe boat because of the poor efficiency and the great damage to the fish, just like this. So the project was negated. But how bad to do with this complete soap of the plastic in the oceans? I later he came up with a creative idea is that that he designed the 2,000 feet long barrier, which is a co passive concentration art like an artificial coastline to track the plastic with its 10 feet deep net. And after the plastic were trapped, they will be loaded on the boat and transported to, to the land for recycling. He initially wished to clean up thousands of tons of the plastic by, su by such 60 devices. But the research didn't go smoothly at all. Then after he graduated from the after he graduated from the college, then he has spread his idea all over America through the famous TED of TEDx. But his idea was ignored by the famous science community. So when this grievous news came, that he fell into depths of despair. But how could how bad this could stop him looking for new solutions? Surprisingly, half a year later, that, that his TEDx video was discovered by several American famous news sites and made into a trailer. Now more and more Americans started to show examining to this issue, including the science group. And they have finally designed the system 001. And it's, it is like this. Half, half, five and a half years later, that it has launched in San Francisco on September the 8th, 1820. But Boeing was not a bore. He said because of his severe seasickness, but I believe that he will continue devoting himself on this severe issue because his goal was to clean up the half of the oceans by the year 2025. But this is just an instance of the bullying. And I mean that we teenagers can really do something to make a Earth a better habitat and such like focus more on the endangered animals or considering how to improve the people's life around you better. And there's a factor about me that in my community there used to be two busy roads and between the roads is a great long but there isn't a 
pathway for pedestrians to across it, so it forces many citizens to trample onto the lawn. But you know that lawn is the home to many the endangered animals, and it used to be considered as the lawn of the earth, so we can have a glimpse at its significance to air refreshing. So I advise our community to lay the flagstones to make a pathway, and they did. But later I found that one great problem is that the distance between the two flagstones isn't suitable for most of the Chinese, especially the old one. Because if you step two at a time, you will feel quite exhausted, but how about one? It looks quite embarrassing. And so I, instead of just reflecting the issue, I clearly, I clearly measure the required quantities of the data of each citizen, and then induce the data, reduce the limit values, and get the average. Meanwhile, I also advise to increase the roughness of the flagstone so that we won't slip over so easily on moist days. But we teenagers can really change the world, and just like me, by little, little by little. And I believe there are still many other teenagers that are trying to help a little, just as the same, same sense of responsibility. And of course, our way to get every success, there must be, there used to be opponents deriding, deriding and questioning whether our efforts are really valuable or not, but what I want to mean is that only the quantity can make a qualitative change. Without our tenacious will, constant progress, and the self-confidence, then nothing can be changed. In the past, we were used to be considered as the tenants and bookworms, and I think it is the time for us to change this still opinion. And remember that most of the unexpected inventions will come from the young. And I believe it will continue. Recently I have heard that the two teenagers from Indonesia has devoted to make the plastic no longer exist in people's life. And one Canadian boy has successfully raised enough money to dug several wells in Africa to increase the local people's drinking water. So, I think this is the teenagers can change the world by their little progress. I'm yearning at the increasing number of the teenagers who show, who show solicitude for this, for uh, several severe issues, for the community, and for the country, or even the globe. And believe it or not, our earth will soon become a better place by our teenagers soon after. Thank you.